Welcome to the spoken tutorial on passing parameters to a module. In this tutorial, we will learn how to pass parameters to a module. To record this tutorial, I am using VirtualBox version 5.2, Ubuntu Linux 18.04 LTS operating system. Linux kernel version 5.0.0-31 generic gedit text editor To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with C programming language Basics of Linux kernel If not, then go through the C or C++ and Linux spoken tutorials on this website Go to the device driver folder in the desktop which we have created earlier. Here I have created a directory named parameter. In this directory I have saved a module file for demonstration purpose. I have named it as mod underscore param dot c. The files used in this tutorial are available in the code files links on this tutorial page. Please download and extract them. Make a copy and then use them while practicing. Open the terminal by pressing alt ctrl t key simultaneously. Press enter after every command. Go to the directory parameter as shown here. First, we will see an example on how to pass parameters to a module. Let us open the file mod underscore param dot c. Type gedit space mod underscore param dot c. Let us look at the code. We have to include these header files as it is needed by all modules. Module param.h file contains the macros required to pass parameters to a module. Here, variables are declared in a module as global variables. Module underscore param macro is used to pass parameters to a module. The first parameter specifies the name of a parameter. The second parameter specifies the supported data types of variable. For example, bool, int, long, short, uint, ulong, ushort are supported. A character pointer value is also supported. The third parameter specifies the permission of this module file in sysfs. The permissions can be specified in SI format. Let us see the file permissions in the module param macro using SI defines. We can use these formats in our code as per the requirement. Switch back to the code. Here I have passed n value parameter of integer data type to a module. The next parameter indicates that the user has the read and write permissions. Module underscore param underscore array macro is used to send the array as a parameter. The array underscore value specifies the name of an array. Here, the data type of array elements is int. The third parameter is a pointer. In this parameter, the kernel stores the number of array elements. Here, we are passing a null pointer. The next parameter indicates that user has the read and write permissions. Module underscore param underscore named macro is used to give different names to the same variable. Here, 
name is the externally viewable parameter. The value is the name of the internal global variable. The data type of this variable is an integer. The user can read and write to this file. This is an initialization function of a module containing the print key messages. The print key messages will print the different parameters of the above macro. The exit function is the cleanup function of the module. This function contains a print key message as shown here. Now save this file and close the window. Switch back to the terminal. Clear the screen. Let us create a MIG file to compile the module. Type gedit space MIG file. Write the code as shown here. Save this file and close it. To build the module, type make space all. Type sudo space su to be a super user. And type the system password. Clear the screen. Let us insert mod underscore param dot ko into the kernel. Type the command as shown. Here we pass a value 4 to the variable n value and 9 to the variable name. 11, 12, 13, 14 are passed as an array element to array underscore value. Let us see the loaded print key messages of a module. Type t message space pi space grape space moim underscore module. This print key messages displays the parameter passes to a module. Clear the screen. Let us unload a module from the kernel. Type rm mod space mod underscore param dot ko. Let us see the unloaded print key messages of a module. Type t message space pi space grape space my underscore module. The output shows the print key messages from the exit function. Clear the screen. Type make space clean. It removes all files created after compilation. To be the regular user, type exit. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learn to pass parameters to a module. As an assignment, compile the mod underscore param dot c. Load the module with change in parameters value using the insmod tool. See the output using d message command. Unload the module using rm mod tool. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your time queries in this forum. Do you have any general or technical questions on embedded Linux device driver? Please visit the FOSI forum and post your question. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD Government of India. This tutorial has been contributed by FOSI and Spoken Tutorial Project IIT Bombay.
This is Mayuri Panchakshari from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.